Kia ora. thank you for giving me a few moments of your time today. My name is Eddie Tupai and I'm the lead pastor for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. I'd like to talk to you today about the community that your church is in. When I say that, I mean that in two ways. Number one, the community that you and I live our everyday life in. We the church and the community. The second way is the place where we come to worship every Sabbath. There is a community around that place of worship. The Adventist world leader Jan Paulson has just recently written an article where he states that Adventism belongs in the community where we work and live our lives. And so I'd like to ask you today three important questions about the community where we, the church, are in. Does that community know that you and I are Adventists, that we are Christians? Number two, does that community even care? And I think the third question is even more important. Does that community know that we care about them? At Big Camp this year at Tui Ridge, and what a great time we had. The theme was live life to the fullest. And a clear message that came through that whole time was that to live life to the fullest, we need to live our lives for other people. Right throughout camp in the age groups and their different divisions, great stories were told of people in communities, churches in communities. For example, uh, down there in the Taranaki in Stratford, they sold their church on the outskirts of town and moved their church to the center of town, right next to the bottle store. And they've called it the Adventist Drop-In. It's open during the week. People pass by, there's a bookstore there, and they can just drop in and hang out at Stratford Church. There's Hamilton, where young people have purchased a caravan and they've taken this caravan to parks or wherever young people are hanging out and just spend time with them and minister and serve them. Or over in the Bay of Plenty in Tauranga, where our church is actually located in the suburb of Bethlehem. And so they decided to organize a Christmas program where 3,000 people from the community came to a Christmas program just last year. Down in Horofenua, just north of Wellington, is the small town of Levin. And last year they ran an evangelistic program where new people have come into their church. But just last week, they've opened up the arms of their church and received 38 new members from an independent Samoan congregation. And then how about up there in the far north, in Tikau, Kaitaia, Kaikoi, where they've used the Coronary Health Improvement Program to invite the community into their churches and to share with them a lifestyle that can just change the way they are now and all the difficulties they are facing in significant ways. Now, those are just some examples, some of the stories of what is happening right across our conference of churches here in the North Island where we are being involved in the community. But I would like to challenge you today. I would like to say that really we need to do a whole lot more to be God's people in the community, to do God's work in the community, to let the New Zealand community know with no doubt at all that we care about them, that we care about God's kingdom, and that we care that Christ is coming soon. And this is why, as leaders of our church here in North New Zealand, we are on a mission. We are on a mission to build godly leaders. Leaders who grow healthy Adventist churches. Churches that serve the communities of Aotearoa. This is something that needs to be steady. It needs to be urgent. And it must be radical. 
any other change would be insufficient. Any other change would be just doing what we've always done, being satisfied with the status quo, the same old, same old. But we need change in a way that we've never seen before. And I believe it begins with us focusing on Jesus Christ and valuing highly in our hearts and in our churches those that Jesus died for, those that don't know him, those that don't have an experience, a life experience with our Lord and Savior. So I know this is a strong challenge. It's something that is beyond our power and our ability to ever do. So can I just pray briefly for you and for this challenge that we share together? Let's pray. Lord, we love your church. And we have no doubt in our hearts that you love us. You gave your son for us. And this commission you have extended to us to go into all the world and to make disciples. We pray that you would help us to reach our communities in meaningful ways. In different ways, unique to each context. But that we can use the gifts you have given to us to make a difference and prepare many more lives. Disciples of yours for your soon return. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you.